Big and uh, Carrie get married, and then uh, he chickens out, and then they still get married, and it's no big deal. Let's see what happens with Samantha. Uh, she has sex with people. I think Smith. Was it in the city or was it outside the city? No, this one's in the city. It was okay. in the suburbs. No, it's Sex in the City. I can give you the, the recap of Sex in the City 2 later. We have to do Charlotte first. <laughs> What's she up to? She has a baby, I think. What? Or a cupcake. Uh, <laughs> a baby or a cupcake? I don't know. They're, they decorate them similarly. Both the same commitment. Uh, pu -pu -pu -pu. What's the, what about the other one? Sex in the City 2? No, the other one. Isn't there another one? No, there's only four. We got Samantha. Yep. Gary, yep. Charlotte, uh -huh. and Miranda. 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 Oh, we covered them all. Yep. Is your hmm. still painted? Oh, what's left of it? Oh. Huh. Hmm. So that's that's Sex in the City right there, eh? One. Sex in the City two. They all go to Dubai. This is Dangerous Reviews, episode nineteen. Yeah. Nineteen of uh, nineteen. We're gonna have to start growing up soon. Not a teenager for long. No. We can finally drink, so we're having some beers. Yeah, finally. Oh. Yeah. Maybe. And uh, today, we have a very special guest with us, uh, local to uh, our house. His name is Dave, and here he is. Cool intro. <laughs> Thanks for uh, bringing me here, you gentlemen. Thanks for... We physically brought you here. Yeah. So this week, uh, we reviewed the uh, 1990 Paul Verhoeven film, Total Recall, based on the Philip K. Dick short story of Another Name, mm -hmm. which I cannot recall. Recall. Totally. All right, here's what happened in the movie. The movie takes place in the year 2084, which is the future <laughs> from 1990, but... Yeah. Looks very much like the past from where we are now. Yeah. Here's yeah. what made it futuristic. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger had like a hand blender that he made a smoothie with. Uh, he, all the video is in standard definition. Uh, and all, there were no flat screens, they were all very deep screens. Yeah. Uh, furthermore, mm. um, uh, pleated pants are very in in the year 2085. You're For really excited when we uh, suggested this. Because you're a huge Colin Farrell fan. I'm a big Colin Farrell fan. The movie's being remade. Uh, the Colin Farrell edition is coming out this year. Uh, it's going to have uh, all of your favorite Colin Farrell uh, <laughs> hits in it. It's going to be in a phone booth. Colin Farrell's going to be in a SWAT team. Uh, there's, he's going to be in Bruges. Uh, then Colin Farrell will mysteriously uh, be in Tigerland. And then that is where things get a little feral. -y. Uh, oh yeah, there was a great scene where uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is riding up a, uh, an escalator and people are shooting at him and he just uses a guy to block as all a, the bullets. As a, as a shield? A human shield, yeah. And then he turned him around mm -hmm. and used him again. And then he chucked him. And then he threw them. What are the movies where Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, showed himself to be strong? Pumping Iron, Junior, because you know what? Childbirth is like the most agonizing thing. Although strength and like... Being able to withstand pain aren't the same thing. Um, so I can take pain, but I, I'm not very strong. Yeah, 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 I know. Me too. Let's see, what else happened in Total Recall? Oh, there's this guy, <laughs> Quango. And he uh, <laughs> lives... It's, actually, it's Rango. <laughs> yeah, he's a quasi-autonomous, non-governmental organization. He lives in the belly of the beast. And he's got all the answers vis-a-vis -vis the reactor. Uh, yeah, he's sort of a weirdo. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would give Total Recall a 10. It's the best movie ever made. <laughs> made $2 billion. It broke all the records. It won all, it broke the record for the most Oscars won. It won mm -hmm. a, an Oscar for the most Golden Globes. It actually won a couple Tonys. It won a Tony. It won a Latin won Grammy. It won a Grammy, yeah. yeah. A Latin Grammy, yeah. yeah. For the soundtrack. Mm -hmm. By uh, Menudo. Yeah. It was part <laughs> Menudo, part Gloria Estefan. Uh, post Miami Sound Machine. Pre-Manhattan Transfer. Where, where can uh, people find you? Uh, I host a podcast called Stop Podcasting Yourself. It's at stoppodcastingyourself.com. That's great. That's about, yep. that's about right. That's about yeah. all you need from me. Yeah, that's where you can be found. That's yeah. That's where you hang out. It's where I'm at. I recommend it. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, you...
Have a pleasant tomorrow. And thanks, Dave. Hey, thank you, Roger. You guys know who we are? Don't know who they are. For more DVDs from Artisan Entertainment, check out artisanent.com. You can get Book of Shadows, Blair Witch 2, Dirty Dancing, The Doors, and Basic Instinct, <laughs> among others, including Drugstore Cowboy. Good film. You can also get Terminator 2 and Stargate. Wow. A movie so nice, they made a TV show that I never saw. <laughs>